So let's do some examples with electric fields. So first of all, just what's the electric potential at a distance 2.2 meters away from a point charge of 0.39 nanocoulombs? Watch out for that one. So first things first, I think it's important to know what it is that we're looking for. So electric potential, what we really want is VE. The most important thing I think on questions is just first of all to decode what it's actually asking for. In this case, this is VE. Well, then you just go hunting for an equation for it. And we have VE equals K Q over R. It's always good to show the examiner you know what you're doing or you show your teacher. So there you go. It's always good to show the raw equation. Well, then it's actually really simple. In this case, we just put in the numbers. So we're just going to put in uh, K, Q, and R. Now, K is 8.99 times 10 to the 9. Okay, I'll make my point look like a point. There we go. Times the charge. Well, the charge is 0 0.39, but be very careful. It's nano. So nano means times 10 to the minus 9. Again, if you didn't remember that, you can always look it up on your data book. They actually tell you in the first couple of pages what all the prefixes are. It's awesome. Divide that by 2.2 meters, and you're done. So let's take a look on our trusty calculator here and put it all in. So I've got 8. Oh, I'll do a fraction first. 8.99 times 10 to the 9 times, okay, what's Q again? Q is 0 0.39 times 10 to the minus 9. All that is divided by 2.2. So then I get an answer 1.59368, which is, let's see the two significant figures then. I can say then that VE equals just 1 point, yeah, just 1.59. And what are the units again? Volts. There we go. That actually wasn't so bad. It was pretty straightforward, that one. All right, so this time we have a charge. We know the charge here, so that's going to be Q. And it's moved from point A to point B. So let's look at this. We've got point A here. We've got point B here. So it goes this way. And after that, it goes back again. Okay. Now we're told the electric potential at A. Oh, what does that mean? Remember what each letter means? Electric potential. Oh, that's a V. So that's a VE, you know, at A. And we know that VE at B is this value. The question is, what's the work done? What's the work done? So first of all, before we do anything else, what's the equation for work done? We're going to need that. Well, the work done equation, remember, is W equals Q times delta VE. This is the equation we're going to be using. So let's think now, first of all, in this first part, we're just going from A to B. Okay, so just from A to B, and that's it. So just here, so going from here to here, well, we'll just put in uh, the calculations here. So W equals, let's see, the charge. The charge is 2 coulombs, so I'll just say 2, times delta VE. That means I have to say, what's the change in electric potential? It went from, well, I can say VA minus VB. I could say it that way. So that means then W is going to be equal to 2 times, well, let's see. What's the VA? It's 20 minus negative 30. It's really important to get that part right. And what's 20 minus minus 30? That's like saying 20 plus 30. So that ends up being 50. So I have W equals 2 times 50, which equals 100. So in the end, I can conclude that a W equals a 100. And remember the units for work? It's joules. So there we go. That was easy. Ish. The key thing for these ones is just decoding the question, just knowing what each variable means. So I really highly recommend before your exams, you make sure you know what's the symbol for, for example, electric potential. Oh, that's VE. What's the symbol for electric field strength? That's capital E. Okay, what's the symbol for, you know, you, so you could just go that way. So that way you just go through all of them and make sure you know what each means. I think that would be really useful for you. Now, what's the total work done? What does that mean? Well, that's in going from A to B, and then back to A again. Well, remember, if you just think about it uh, like this, you have W equals Q times basically VA minus VA, if you really thought about it, because sure, we went from A to B, but we don't care about that. We care about the total change. Look, you started off at A, you started here at A, and you finished at A. And if you started and finished at the same place, well, then there's no change. You see that? So that's why it's a VA minus a VA. Well, of course, that's just going to be zero. So it's actually a trick question. The answer is just work equals zero. And again, okay, the reason is that's because it starts and finishes at the same point. In other words, you know, delta VE is going to be zero because there's no change. So again, that's why 
in this case, the work done. This is like a, in mechanics, for example, you could say that this is the equivalent of like if we say, what's the total displacement? You start here, you go for a walk, you know, 100 kilometers, then you come back to your same point. What's your total displacement? Well, it's zero because you started at the same place as you finished. That's it. In this case, it's kind of like that, right? You've you started here, you finished here, so your total change in electric potential is zero.